Hi, my name is Randy Watts with Alien Gear Holsters. We uh, wanted to get our engineers out on the mats to see exactly why we're designing these holsters. Uh, some of the training that we do as law enforcement and in the military is, you know, BJJ, some jujitsu, and one of the drills is defending our gun from getting taken by a bad guy. I'm Ty Morton, engineer at Alien Gear Holsters here for almost a year now. Wrong position of arrested person in first five seconds. Put it on the wall, legs in, maximum large position, hands over the head. Did, did you not put his legs in maximum large position? I don't know what maximum large position <laughs> I think, is. I don't think I've ever used that I'm not actually a police officer. This is my first time doing any sort of policing or uh, jujitsu. So. so this is... Like, this is a very typical position. If you have a bad guy, which clearly, you know, someone of this skill set um, is not common. But if you have a bad guy who's wanting to, you know, play along as if he's being compliant, there are plenty, plenty circumstances where this would be the correct position to arrest someone. If it's not a high risk situation and you're, you know, arresting a shoplifter for example, who's being compliant, this is not inaccurate. Mm -hmm. Now that comment, sure, if it's a freaking felony stop, you're gonna put him on his face, face down, you're gonna take every precaution, but it is not, I have been in fights before where I did not do every single thing I thought, you know, that I would do knowing what was about to happen. You know, if I would have known the guy was gonna fight me, certainly I would have put him on his face and, and uh, been more prepared, but. No way, dude. This is a typical, if he's faking compliance, type position to arrest someone in. Why play the grappling game with him? There are plenty of opportunities to elbow the face and or slam the head to the ground. Why didn't you do that, Ty? Um, first of all, it was it was a drill, so. In a real situation, yeah, if, uh, I mean, you do what you have to to survive. And uh, depending, there's, I mean, it's such a complicated situation. We have a use of force kind of pyramid and when you escalate to head strikes you know versus body strikes and it would it takes a lot of training to get proficient and to know when to elevate force and when not to elevate force that you as an engineer here designing for us uh, would not know just jumping into a gym for the first time what do we got here have pepper spray taser other firearms and your radio yes bullshit we're not rolling around i'm taking your ear and I breaking fingers, rolling around like that on pavement, really. Freaking tough guys, man. Yeah. <laughs> he would have submitted me after I broke his, his finger, probably, and that would have been fun. He had a full grip on that gun from an upward angle. If he really wanted it, he could have had it. I think what he's trying to say is if he really wanted it, if he would have pulled harder, he could have got the weapon. That's mm -hmm. eight, 800 pounds. Was it more than that? Uh, Somewhere between six to nine hundred pounds of pull force to get that thing out of there. Yeah, if he really wanted it, he could not have just pulled it out of the holster. Uh, why would you let someone get that close to you if you have a firearm? Because police have to arrest people. I don't, we are role playing as if Ty is a police officer having to arrest someone, and that's where cops keep their firearms is on their hips even during an arrest.